Derek. Yes. Hey, so let me ask you a question, man. At the end of the count of three, you're going to say single player or multiplayer, okay? Got it. One, two, three. Single player. All right. Ugh. So we're divided again. Ugh. <laughs> well, I guess. Um, why single player? Well, single player for me, I mean, that's what I grew up on, man. And like, I didn't really have friends that came over all the time and that I hung out with to really play with. And like my parents weren't very intrigued in playing with me, perhaps. <laughs> and my sister being so much older than me was not intrigued it to play with me. It gives me either. headaches. It gives me anxiety. <laughs> my arthritis hurts. So <laughs> those games for me really spoke to me of like, this is the kind of gaming that's going to speak with you the most. And that's going to connect with you the most. That's just my philosophy. I mean, I love multiplayer games. I love our couch co-op. Love the couch co-op I've had with my friends, the land yeah. parties. But the games that really have like affected me the most and given me the best memories, single player, man. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So uh, I guess multiplayer is just because of the the group of friends, like you, the couch co-op. Like that was some of the best. No screen cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. That. Um, the last time you had to say that, tell me. <laughs> the last time I had to say that, years ago. Yeah. No screen. Medal of Honor, the finest. <laughs> <hour>. <laughs> um, yeah. That that was multiplayer gaming has been I, the biggest thing that I've done in video games. So like anywhere from Modern Warfare all the way to like co-op Halo Two. I mean, I, that's the part where I, like I'm a multiplayer guy. I love doing story mode with friends where you're doing it together, but I can't stand it by myself just like going along, killing bad guys. I don't find, f I want to be, I need to be next to someone. I I have anxiety issues where I need to be next to someone at all times. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's a multiplayer. It's fun. Like, like I said, co-op single player or with the co-op into a story mode style. So like left for dead, Great game. They made it single player where you could go through the story mode and there's like four or five levels you do. But you could also go in and do it multiplayer too. So like we're like that was such a good four people versus four people. But yeah, it's still the story mode. But those four people are zombies. Right. Yeah. To me, I always was by myself, you know, like it was it was always just me. And I mean, honestly, I didn't really have many controllers as well. I mean, that's, that's another issue that I think a lot of kids ran into was, uh, yo man, did you bring your controller? Oh, well, it looks like you're not playing. Call your mom, go <laughs> home. But I think like a majority of those games, me being so self-reliant as is like in preschool, kindergarten, all the way up till probably like third grade, I didn't really even have any friends, maybe like one. So for me, I was used to having fun by myself, yeah. you know, like. I played Final Fantasy VII. That's a single-player experience, you know? You just got to keep rubbing it in, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You, you got to play Final Fantasy VII, man. New video coming soon. Lee plays Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> I play Super Sam? Yeah. No, not Super Sam. Serious Sam. Serious Sam. But uh, back to this. Yeah. I was a, I was a single-player guy, man. And here's the other thing with single-player games. If you look at single-player games now, the games that truly still have the same experience when you plugged it in, 10, 15 years ago, have those same experiences now. PUBG, Fortnite, you don't get that same experience when those ser servers shut down. The game's literally a paperweight. Yeah. And even the games that was like 50% multiplayer, 50% single player, cool, you get a four hour story, but like, is it that good? No. <laughs> it, Call of Duty, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, those had good single player stories. Yeah, with an amazing online portion of it right and they were they're were really good you could do both i did both and i had a ton of fun past that though man i am a single player guy i am not going to play modern warfare 3's campaign again that's just how it is you know so i can i can still play kingdom hearts man and still have a blast like i did before so you do know you're a one and dunner yeah, yeah one and one dunner, and dunner you know? okay <laughs> uh yeah i mean i think I mean, everyone starts single player, like Mario 64, like that was a fun game. But once you beat it, like, I think it's just the replayability value that I have issues with. Like, 
once I beat it, it's like I don't already know how it goes. Yeah, I think it's like it's that. like rereading a book. It's like oh, I already know the punchline in like that chapter or whatever. But it's like you know, multiplayer is it's all it's always changing. Like <laughs> Operation Metro twenty four seven. Yeah, four. <laughs> <laughs> I love tell you, that. One map I could keep playing on for hours straight, but yet, yet again, sometimes it's always different. Like either they're rushing the right lane, center lane, all the way left lane. Yeah, or sometimes you're in you that the freaking guy. circle jerk in the middle, and it's just a complete disaster. And then you're fighting in the or, elevators or, and stuff. Uh, or you're just that one squad that's a bunch of scouts that run all the way behind enemy lines, put up spawn beacons, and yeah. then just come up from behind. Multiplayer games were just. That's that's what made me who I am today. I love playing with friends. I love doing it competitively, but also at the same time, if there was more co-op games where you go like Borderlands Three, you could play with a friend. There's player progression on both sides. Even if your friend's higher than you, he can drag you along if you go hop in his game. But he could come down to your lower levels and still play with you. He's just not going to be able to get as much experience points as his level character would be. Yeah, so I think the lines kind of blur for me, though, and there's like a gray area in between of what multiplayer that I prefer personally. Mm -hmm. And that's like the cooperative ones, like not Destiny. Oh. Kind of, yeah, I don't even, not Anthem, not that kind of stuff where it's cooperative. Wait, would you say? I am not getting into a Anthem conversation, mm -hmm. Lee. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I think that game fell off the face of the earth after Good. all of its hype. I am so glad it did. <laughs> yes. Taking down EA. Sorry. One step at a time. <laughs> Go on. So, <laughs> the kind of co-op gaming that I like, like we just played through Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Oh. That the Black game was Order. A, that game was amazing, man. We had fantastic a, couch co-op game. Yeah, and ever. like I like that multiplayer. I we've played Diablo what, so much. What, what was that game? We beat it on the hardest difficulty setting, and yeah, what two days, three days, two days, three days, something like that. Yeah, that took forever. And we did the same with Diablo. You yeah. know, like when the expansions and stuff came out, we did that with Diablo three. I mean, like you said, Left 4 Dead, like kind of like those cooperative style games. Yeah. Another one that I really like too is like the Mario Party games, the ones that you have fun that way. Now, one. that is a game that everyone can play. I don't care who you are if you don't like video games. Mario Party or even... Is this still Mario Party where you're running away from Bowser? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a great game. Anyone could play that. Yeah. Like, Wii anyone. Sports. Yeah. Wii Sports, like the bowling, all that stuff. I like those games. And even if they are competitive, but the ones that... I've come to realize now that they're not as important to me and don't really have as big of an impact on me as like when I play Gears 5 online. Like I played through yeah. the campaign completely with <sighs> Ryan. You you were able to actually play the full <sighs> campaign. I don't or want to talk, talk about, about that. that portion. Okay. Another reason why current gaming is interesting. Video yeah. coming soon. Sorry. Um, I just, I don't like, I, I really like it because I am a very competitive person. I played baseball, football, stuff like that. I was extremely competitive, but I feel like why I game is to get rid of the anxiety and the stress in my life. Yeah. I don't need more of that being competitive because what caused me the anxiety was being around other people, having that social awkwardness and having that anxiety. And I have that still, like almost when I play against people, it's like a PTSD thing that comes out and I rage hard. Yeah. I don't think anyone that I know personally rages harder than me. But when I play, like, I'm just playing Fire Emblem Three Houses the other day. I haven't raged one time. The stress relief that that gives me is amazing. Super Mario Odyssey, Octopath Traveler, those games seal the deal, man. Single player all the way. So you're telling me you don't like the feeling of getting okie doke backpack shotgun killed in <laughs> freaking <laughs> Batman, <laughs> Superman, wig. <laughs> Love it. You're telling me you don't like that feeling? Like, I totally shot that guy one hit. I like it, and it's fun. Too. But... But here's the problem with multiplayer is you still need friends to make it fun. Yeah, I, I'm starting to realize that now as I'm getting older and wiser in <laughs> video games. I'm tired. I'm getting tired of playing the multiplayer games where it requires your friends to play with you because the community has gotten so toxic over no matter. I mean, granted, it's a battle royale game. Yeah. They're all toxic if you're not playing with team friends. killing. Not griefing. Even team killing. Yeah, griefing is a big thing. But like I'm down. This is a team effort game. You're not going to come pick me up? 
yeah. you're taking all my loot? Like, what the heck, dude? Like, I think that's the only time I really get mad at multiplayer where it's like, it's a team effort, dude. It's not just you. <laughs> I couldn't even fathom logging onto any multiplayer game right now and playing it by myself. There's no, no way I, I could do it. Yeah, that's... I have to be with someone to play video games. Like, it's... it's Yes, the video game is, like, the vehicle for socialization, I feel like, with my friend group. Yeah. It's like, yeah, our friend, our friend group is that we hop on to talk to each other as long... As well as playing video games. It's not like... I mean, we go... Sometimes we go 12 hours straight playing the same video game. Yeah. But that's co- couch co-op. Multiplayer would be more like... Like you said, I can't hop on like play Battlefield Five all by myself and not have a team to talk to. It gets boring after a while. There's exactly. no st- strategy. So I guess where where do we draw the line at? I think I think me and you meet in the middle a yeah. lot. You really like the multiplayer stuff, and I really like the single player stuff. But I think where we find the fun, like the most fun that you can possibly have in a video game, is when you meet in the middle and you do a multiplayer game, but it's couch co op. Yeah, I've. Why aren't there more of those? I know, man. It it really hurts. Like, one thing that I really want us to do a lot on this channel is to really focus on a lot of the couch cooperative games and the cooperative games that are really fun. Because me and you, me and Ryan, me and a lot of other people that I've played with, those are some of the the funnest times. Like, seriously, when Halo 4 came out, I remember I had already come and gone from my 360 because of the Red Rings of Death. I was on PS3. But now they had the Xbox 360 Slim. I remember buying the Halo 4 specific edition Xbox 360 that they had at the launch of the game. Oof, the blue one? Yes. And it had all the cool stuff on the controller. Yeah. And me and Ryan sat down and we played that game from start to finish. Did like a 96-hour run. No, it wasn't that long. It was a <laughs> long time, but there's a lot of Mountain Dew involved, a lot of pizza. Um, Fun times, man. And we did the same thing with Diablo and yeah. Marvel. Those games I wish there was more of. I don't. Those are the only two games I could think of that have that same style besides uh, Dragon's Crown. Oh, yeah, <laughs> buddy. But that's Amazon. A whole, that's a whole different ball game almost, I feel like. I mean, it's still couch co-op, but there's, it's a, uh, it's not really on rail. It's just like the same plane where you go back up and down. I don't know what to call it, man. Mm. You know what it is. Yeah. I would say, and I think what really killed it for me is when I saw the quote from one of the developers of Halo. Yeah. I think it, I think it actually was Phil Spencer, the one that said it, which Phil Spencer doing a phenomenal job with the turnaround of the Xbox One from what Peter Moore did do it at the beginning, oh. all in one video game console and yeah. let's bundle and connect and make this $500. Yeah. Why? That was a dumb idea. People bought it. Phil Spencer, I think was the one that said it, that he said Here's why Halo 5 doesn't have split screen. It's because it's more convenient for gamers to do this online. Yes, it's more convenient, but we live like five minutes away from each other. Yeah, I can just come over to your house and play it. Yeah, I know people play cross country and stuff like that, and, and they play from people around the globe. But why I even ended up buying Halo, why I bought Halo 2, is because I went to my friend's house and I played couch co-op with him. Yeah, dude, that final end game, or not the end game, but you know the final mission. Oh, the pillar of autumn, <laughs> dude! Oh my god, I could even, I could literally even, drop this right now and go play. Even the starting mission was just so. Oh my god, he's dragging that huge nuke out of the spaceship. He's flying with it, and he's going Halo to two, dro- man. drop it off in the enemy ship, and then still live to <laughs> tell the story, like crazy single player don't get me wrong but it was even better when you're playing with friends Mm -hmm. because then you could crank up the difficulty level oh yeah and then unlock all the fun little oh my god did i just say that when you beat the (laughs) storyline and you unlock certain things you could wear in multiplayer like fiery skulls and crap like that from like Halo 3, I remember that was a big thing. Not a nine ninety nine paywall pack that's only exclusive <laughs> to the next four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you buy this pack of the next four minutes, you get a bonus of this many coins. We need to get away from that, man. Yeah, like the, all the microtransactions and stuff <sighs> and just strictly focusing on multiplayer. But then here's one of the things that's in the news right now, and we were talking about this a little bit before, is The yeah. Last of Us Part 2 or whatever it is right now. Yeah. That game, the developers literally said, look, 
you guys asked for an amazing single player game and an amazing sequel to a game of the year, one of the best games of all time. Yeah. One of the best stories I've ever played. And they come out with that single player story and they're like, look, we don't have a multiplayer. And there's so much outrage over it. Why? Yeah. They can, yeah, they can add it in, but that game is a multiplayer game second and a single player game first. Yeah. Why is everyone freaking out about the multiplayer? Because if it was the other way around, they boycott the game and won't play it. Well, it's just like with Call of Duty and their version of Battle Royale. It's like, okay, you guys stick to your bread and butter, team deathmatch, all that fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Wh- who asked for a Battle Royale? Like, who? I know you're trying to breach into other markets and steal their people, but it's not cool, man. Mm-hmm. Like, just... Keep it to your bread and butter and leave it that way. I know. I wish companies could just get it together. Just be like, look, like like Naughty Dog back in the day, man. Like oh, Uncharted. Oh, man. All the rats, the, the Jack and Dax or yeah. stuff. Like all the games that they came out with. And same with like Insomniac and stuff. They did such good games. And then like, then they started to incorporate multiplayer into it. And yeah, it was cool. Like Uncharted was amazing. That was yeah. awesome. But they treated it as a single player game first and a multiplayer game second. And no one had a problem with it. But now Last of Us Part 2 comes out, and that's all they want to do is complain about it not having a multiplayer. Because you know what's going to last? The single player. Yeah. Not yes. the multiplayer. And that's what we got to preserve. So, guys, tell us. What do you think? Single player or multiplayer? Help us stand up in this revolution towards video gamers. Or, not video gamers. Oh, my God. Video oh, game no. Don't boycott the video gamers. But, uh... Tell us below. What do you think? Help us. We need ideas, man. Give us stuff to talk about. But hey, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share it. Please get us up there because, I mean, the more followers we get, I think the better the videos will get too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the more input we have for sure. Yeah. Hey, see ya. Deuces. Deuces.